Okay, YouTubers, this is my first, possibly my last YouTube video. I got home yesterday, April 20th, to find that FedEx had dropped off my Starlink satellite dish. I'm in Lake Havasu, Arizona, and I haven't seen anybody put up ads in Arizona, so I figured, okay, why not? I'll go ahead and put one up. Here in Havasu, we have three internet service providers that I know of, and they are uh, used to be Citizens, which is now Frontier, it's the phone company. They offer three different uh, options, six, 12, or 24 megabytes, depending on where you're located in town. Uh, I've been told I'm capable of getting the 12 but I currently have six and I'm happy with it it's unlimited and it works but you can't really use a VPN with six because um, well it's just not fast enough uh, another option is Suddenlink which is the cable company and if you're a cable cutter it doesn't make sense to go to the cable company to try to get your internet plus they have many different packages and uh, data limits if you don't get the right package and I hear a lot of complaints about them even though people tell me they got these super fast connections. There's a third option, I think it used to be called Red River Net. It's a WISP, a wireless internet service provider. And you know, they offer I think 25 megabits. Um, they also have data limits I believe. And um, they're more pricey. So uh, anyway, I figured I'd give Starlink a shot. So here we go. Go ahead and open this box. See what what we what we've got here. Kind of exciting just to have another option. Something else that's, that's available. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Drop it down a little bit. this around open this up and what do we got kind of windy today I guess it's not a good day to do this whoa oh my god okay here we are back to uh, I guess you call it the unboxing of the Starlink Elon's satellite service let's see here take the top plastic off and Inside we got the satellite dish. It looks like the stand. Important. It's your power brick. The wires already lined up where they need to go. Your router. And the cable. So not a lot to it. So let me pause this and Let's see if I can't set this up real quick. Okay guys, uh, powered it up, just kind of temporarily got this set up, running out the carport, and we can see the, the dish here. Doesn't appear to be doing anything yet. Oh, I spoke too soon. There, it's doing something. Okay. Well, now I guess the next big thing is I probably should look on, see if I've got any type of internet connection, right? So, look on the phone here and see if I got any type of internet connection. So, settings, here we go. Let's go to, where are we at? Wi-Fi. Oh. And do we see any Starlinks yet? No. Nope. Don't see any Starlink. Hmm. No. Maybe it might just take a little bit. We'll give it a minute and see what it does. Okay guys, just to let you know, um, speed test, 
uh, ping 35 millimeters 35 milliseconds sorry uh, download megabytes per second 231 upload uh, 30.3 so wow crazy numbers Let's see what happens anyway uh, we've got Starlink in Arizona or at least in Lake Havasu City Arizona so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, sorry about the wind like I said, this is my first, maybe my last one. So, thanks again, guys. Enjoy. This is my first Starlink speed test. Um, when you first hook it up, it wants you to create a SSID and password, which oop, I didn't do. So, uh, if you don't set it up the first time, you got to hit the reset on the router in order to do so. But anyway, well, not bad for a first time, huh?